Okay, this is a video of just kind of how I rally typically on a base, especially around the outside of it if it's set up for that. This is not really for war, but it's what I do in multiplayer typically. So those knights showing up is why you want to place your tanks first. And then here, I'm gonna, my main thing I wanted to get was that cannon tower gone. So I wait until the artillery gets that. And then I'm gonna rally right to that corner so that my troops have a clear kind of direction to go diagonally downward on the map. So they have a little trouble getting through the back through the wall. And they start going back in here. And I don't like that, so I'm going to rally them back way to the corner once I get my rally. Let them clear that corner. And again, I'm trying to keep my tanks and artillery kind of moving at the same pace. And so that's how I base my, you know, my ratios. And so tanks, of course, are going to move ahead a little bit. But once they get, they're going to get help from the artillery after a little bit. Using my plane to clear <laughs> some nights. So now I'll probably rally here in a second to this corner. Yeah, so I put them in a corner so that they have a clear direction to go across through there, clearing that stuff out. It keeps them from spreading again. So now they can kind of, they're spreading out a little bit here to get around this wall, but they don't do too bad. And on this one, I'm using three health carts, uh, which is very forgiving. <laughs> and then I think after this, I don't really rally because I don't want to rally through a wall. I, and they're doing okay. The tanks are ahead, taking the damage. Of course, it'll be a little bit different with different age troops. But this is the general idea, is to kind of just rally to corner points so that your troops have a good direction to go. They're gonna travel through from the corner that you place them at across all the buildings. That's it.